After failing to receive two months' remittance from the Teachers' Service Commission, Teachers' Union are now threatening to marshal support and institute industrial action beginning Wednesday if teachers' deductions are not released to the unions. We have given Teachers' Service Commission and by extension Treasury to release union dues within 24 hours. Failure to do this, we are only left with one option to institute industrial action, which shall not be limited to pursuing our course through the court, but even calling upon our members to boycott work until this issue is addressed. Coupet claims TAC has not been forthcoming to provide leadership of the matter on how Treasury was only paying net salaries while withholding other third-party deals like union deductions. The Service Commission verbally have communicated to us that they are helpless, they cannot do anything. I wonder what has happened where the government is only interested in paying net salaries and does not want to address the third-party component of the deductions so made from the teachers' pay. Coupet claims it is reading and sinister motive on the move which is meant to muzzle the voices of teachers and cripple operations of the unions. Yes, the government has some kind of interest to um, twist unions even in peacetime. The union are also accusing TEC for what it claims is arbitrarily changing policies without factoring major stakeholders, hence destabilizing the education sector in the country. The Teacher Service Commission is coming up with a raft of changes and designing policies which are not subjected to any public participation, especially by stakeholders. We are alarmed that teachers are not in school today because quite a number of teachers are moving to such offices like the Higher Education Loans Board, to the District Criminal Investigation Officers, or to EACC, to look for documentation, especially those people who are serving as heads of department, deputy principals, and principals of schools. Leaders Moshe Gadi for Channel One News.